mathematicians. Today you're going to be helping me with a little crafting project. So I have six pairs of jeans that have holes in them. And I can split them up by saying I have four pairs of men's jeans and two women's jeans. Or I can split that six by saying there are five light colored jeans and one pair of dark colored jeans. But either way, out of the six today, I'm only using one. So six minus one, that means I'll have five left over at the end of our crafting project today. So I'm going to need to cut some squares out of the legs of these jeans. Oops, I made a mistake. I drew three, but one of them isn't the right shape. I needed squares and I made a rectangle. So let me write my numbers first to make sure that I'm doing this right. I have one, two, oops, I wrote my two backwards. No big deal. Sometimes we write numbers backwards. I'll just try again. Three. So I have three that I drew, but I can't use the rectangle, so I have to subtract it. So three minus one. How many squares will I be using on this leg? Two, that's right, thank you. Three minus one equals two. All right, it's time to get to work on the other leg. I need to draw my squares and I need to cut them out. While I'm cutting, I'm going to do some math. 4 minus 1 equals 3. 4 minus 2, that equals 2. 4 minus 3 equals 1. And 4 minus 4 equals 0. So now that I have them cut out, I need to count to see how many I have. I have 4 on one side, and I have 2 on the other. 4 plus 2, that equals 6. 4 plus 2 equals 6. But if I want to make it even, I could even say I have 3 on one side and 3 on another. Because 3 plus 3 also equals 6. I'm at my sewing machine and we are going to start adding our squares together. Alright guys, here's the mostly finished result of our crafting project today. It has some mistakes, but that's okay. Mistakes are one of the best ways to know that you are learning. Enjoy your work, and I hope you find fun ways to play with math around your house. It doesn't always have to be sitting down and writing on your workbook. You can be playing, you can be counting, you can be doing Play-Doh, you can be making things. There are so many fun ways to use math. I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.